Hey guys, it's AC Kidab, and welcome back to Let's Play My Sims Agent. So in the last part, we kind of wandered around aimlessly because I was dumb and didn't realize what was going on. Um, but now we are getting started again, and I think I understand what I have to do. Um, but first, we got a complete text message. So the um, magical assistant, uh, what's his name? The wizard dude <laughs> says I am pleased to announce success your team did a great job they convinced me that princess butter was indeed the best choice I just hope that she likes the collectible kingdom pals okay you know what? we picked prince what William or whatever his name was so that's completely wrong um, but what you do actually back here I cannot believe I forgot this um, you go back here okay well actually this isn't like the main thing I have to do um, <laughs> But, yeah, alright, so we get... Oh, there's nothing in there? I thought there's items in here, but I guess not. Unless... Nope. Alright, so, back here, we have to shig it, and we get, um, a atomic converter. So, yay! So, we have to let Dr. F know that we collected everything that he asked for. Alright, so, let's take this off. Alright. Hey, kid. He's like, what is he doing? He's so useless. I don't even know who that is. <laughs> all right, so hey. Hey, Doc, I think you have all the parts for the gadget you mentioned. Excellent. I will fashion you the most devastating secret detect super detector ever. This will only take a moment. Cut scene. First cut scene we've had in, like, forever. There he goes. Mm -hmm. What a man. Ta-da. Smoke and sparkles. <gasps> Look at it. It's awesome. Yeah, we're like, oh, yeah. I don't know what we can do with this, so... Oh, okay, well, so with my new super detector, I should be able to track the radiation. I should start with water near the center of the beach. Okay. Wait, what did this... Oh, it's this one. Okay. So, center of the beach. I'm guessing that's, like, over here? I have no idea, actually. I'm Like, I don't... Like, I vaguely remember this part because... Yeah, I mean, like, you'd think I remember, um... I, you think I'd remember, like, other stuff? Like, from... No, you'd think I'd remember um, the last part of the game. Um, but no, I guess not. Uh, so, yeah. So, I know more about the middle parts and whatnot. And what are we looking for? The middle part of the beach? Uh, very rad. I should start with the water near the center of the beach. Okay. That makes no sense. The water near the center of the beach. We're gonna go through this again? With me wandering aimlessly around? Okay, well here's... I thought this is the center. But maybe they mean... Over where... Tobar was. And where I found the crab traps. Like, that would make sense, I guess? I don't know. Let's just try it. Yes? Anything? No? What? How can we not complete this? Ah! Oh, that was the easiest one! That makes no sense. Just like this atomic converter. I don't understand. Okay. The center of the beach. I am in the center. I don't understand. Maybe if I go up here? Yes? No? Maybe? Maybe not. This is so weird. I don't know what it means. I thought it meant like follow, you know, like go right in the middle. Um, but no. Uh, anything? Anything? Nothing? Fun. Okay. Um, I know you can go up here, but I can't right now. I don't know what it means. Is it broken? I doubt it. No, I don't want to build a sandcastle. No, there's no time. There's no time. I can't get out of this. <laughs> We're stuck building a sandcastle. All right. Um, yeah, I, I don't really know what this means. Maybe I have to go where the phone booth is. That would probably make sense. Or not. Or not. All right, well, let's go here. Nothing. 
Nothing? <gasps> a treasure chest! Let's see, what's here? Purple smoke. <laughs> Always a good thing. Um, a skirt outfit on the beach. Paint. Cool. Awesome. Alright, so... I have no idea what you mean, Dr. F. I don't... Let's see. Kara's call log. Uh, why did she do that? Um, my new super detector should be able to pick up, track the radiation. The radiation of what? I should start with the water. Oh my god, I'm so dumb! It's like talking about in the water. <laughs> I'm so dumb! I think it's talking about in the water. Yeah, like that. Yes! Oh my goodness. Yeah, now I remember. I'm such a smart person. <laughs> Alright, so... Let's continue. I knew we had to make our way over here. But I didn't... I couldn't at the time. Alright, wow, this goes way far back. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, I, I knew we had to go up here. But I was so confused why I couldn't, um... I couldn't, you know, go up there. Um, Alright, so let's go to the top of the cliff. And there should be a way for me to get up there. Yay! Here's the Fenergy Gen... Fenergy... Space? I don't know what that... It said... I thought it was a Fenergy vent. But I don't know exactly what they call it. Alright. Let's put this there. I don't even know if I can jump up on that. No, okay. We need more. We need more. Alright, so we're gonna put this down here. Up. Uh, no. Yes. Alright, let's completely get rid of all this stuff so we can stand there and then we can do this maybe let's see are we talented enough yay we did all right let's get this treasure chest and let's see what we got so we got end tables well that's interesting all right well, let's see anything else a rustic cherry veneer i don't know what that is but let's go in this door said door there's there's definitely no door there <gasps> oh snap all right so we made it into this cave and it, there must be some useful information here so we picked this up and it's an order invoice for paint so um we can tell that uh we can tie yuki to the secret submarine i su i suspiciously a suspicious secret submarine okay um the paint invoice is a good piece of evidence but i bet there's more to be found in this cave always look how big it is all right so let's see did we get anything i think we get paint yep that makes sense all right so collection of lockers can we pick the lock maybe no all right just kidding um all right so we got it's used for navigation it also looks very complicated so we're not messing with that. A high-tech computer. All right. Well, here's a treasure chest. Let's open this. I want a different bathing suit. I swear there was a different bathing suit that I could get. Um, oh, we got a figurine. Cool. Um, all right. So let's see. What can we do? The sonar. Is this a sonar station? No, control. All right. I can't expect the submarine while it's mostly beneath the water. Fixing the broken control would help with that. All right. So let's see. Um, always start with this, with the, um, what is this called? Wires? Wires? Yeah. Or electricity. Alright, so this is pretty simple. Um, a lot of you were saying, like, when I first started this game, you're like, oh, I have the DS version, but I never played the DS version, and I have no idea if it's similar to this. I'm ass- ooh, no. I'm assuming it would be. Like, that would make a lot of sense. Um... But yeah, maybe I'll have to try that out. I had My Sims Racing for the DS, but I gave it to my friend for her birthday. Um, so I don't have it anymore, um, which kind of sucks because it was a really cute game. All right, let's see. This. I always talk when I'm doing this. Yay, there we go. Cool, awesome. All right, so we just fixed the control panel and look at her wickedly awesome submarine wickedly evil and all the algae on the bottom all right so this sub is now above water and i can take a better look at it all right so let's see so there's a length of rope uh tangled around the sub's propeller it's a lot of rope geez 
Uh, the rope tangled in the submarine's propeller seems to be from Justice's crab traps. If so, the sub may be what cut them. So we figured out that um, Yuki's sub crushed the crab cages. <laughs> all right, so I think this is all I can do in here. Can I? I didn't know you could shake this. Oh my gosh, I've never gotten this one before. Look how happy we are. Oh, really? You let me down. All right, so let's go um, tell our findings. Can we, oh, we have to use door. Um, let's go tell our findings to justice. And all right, oh, oh, we didn't fall. We did not fall. All right, hey, justice. Well, that's not justice, but let's go. He owns a tattoo, a tattoo parlor. I don't know if I'd ever get a tattoo. Like, they seem really painful. And I don't like needles, so, you know. But they look really cool at the same time. I'm just, like, standing here. All right, so let's talk to him. Hey, Justice, I think I know what happened to your trap. Tell me now, kid. I don't know why he's southern. All right, so just talking about this in broad daylight. So what did you find out, kid? Do you know who stole my lunch? Well, it turns out nobody stole it. The, nobody stole the crabs at all. The, cra the traps were tra smashed by propellers. I can't talk. Propellers, but all boats docked here are sailboats. I'm, kid, I'm no agent, but this doesn't make any sense. Look at Goth Boy. So sad. It seemed strange to, to, at first to me, too, but I followed a radiation signature to a hidden Morka Corp submarine dock. Hey, pictures! Oh, that is horrifying. Turns out Yuki has been driving a mini sub around. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm not exactly sure why she's doing it. I don't think a sub. Oh my god! Oh, that's so scary. Yuki loves the driving the Yuki sub! Oh, that is so creepy. Yuki, why are you joyriding around in a nuclear submarine? Yuki doesn't have to tell you. Are you charging Yuki with something? Duh. I mean, look at your fangs in your eyes. Yuki requests her lawyer. Kid has surprisingly good grasp on the legal system. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Morgan Corp lawyers are great for biting in high-stake corporation li litigation. Well... I thought you were five. I guess not. Sorry about the traps, Justice, but I've got to learn more about what's going on here. Hey, I understand, kid. Thanks for the help. Guess I've got some online crab trap shopping to do. <laughs> All right, you do that, Justice. Um, so we unlocked new dispatch missions with Chef Wantanabe and Justice. Cool. So we've completed the major cases here. I should check with Buddy to discuss what to do next. Since when is talking to Buddy about anything been a good idea? Where, I swear to God, he was just there. He disappeared. Oh, that was him. Okay. I was like, geez, he disappeared. All right, so now we got to find Buddy. Difficult, wherever he is. Uh, he's Nope, not over here. Probably in some shop. No. Okay, he's probably in a surf shop. Maybe. I don't even know if he can go in here. No, he's not. Come on, Buddy. Where are you? Or maybe he's over here. I have no idea. No. Oh, there he is. Gosh. I'm just going to jump off the pier. I swear he wasn't there before. Oh, sorry, crab. All right. So here he is. <laughs> he's fully clothed. So let's review what we've learned here, buddy. Crabs are dangerous in large numbers. Always wear a helmet when jumping through fire. Krakens love tea. I mean, what we've learned about Morgan Corp's activities on the beach. All right. Sure thing, pal. I'm ready if you are. All right, so yeah, let's figure this out. So I'm with you, pal. All right, so we're gonna get launched into our next part of this um, expedition. I don't know what to call it. <laughs> so all the pieces are starting to fall into place. They sure are, pal. But tell me more how. Tell me how, just in case I have no idea what's going on. Mr. Suckers was angry because something was intruding upon his deep sea territory. Yuki set up Morku Corp's Muba shop as a front so she could operate her submarine at night. So Yuki is looking for something deep underwater in her sub. Look, if you had something that Morku was really wanted, what would you do? He, he doesn't know. He doesn't know anything. Duh. Get it away from Morkobus! Uh, right, would you put it on the ship and sail it far away? Sure, maybe, but after the ship arrived, there would be records of cargo passengers, right? How does he know that? Unless the ship never arrived. What if Cyrus and Dr. Gray tried to move the Nightmare Crown, but the ship on it was on sank? That's it! Yuki's trying to salvage a sunken ship! We've got to find out what she's after. But how are we going to do that? We don't have a submarine. Yeah, just a stupid, useless jet. 
I will assist you. Uh, hey, Dr. F, you're creeping in our conversation. Dr. F, how's your day going? Great, just sunbathing with my robot. I told him I converted to solar power. He got me a day at the beach. Oh, Tobar, I respect your religious beliefs. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's the best. You can use Tobar for your deep sea salvage. Uh, yeah, we can. Look how cute he is. I specifically engineered him to operate remotely under several atmospheres of direct... Of pressure. Wow. Well, that's convenient. <laughs> this whole game is. Not really. Oh. I also programmed him with an irrational fear of kelp. Kelp! Kelp! No, don't make me go! Weenie. Is he okay? It's so slimy. Oh, do you see his little tear? Um, so he will be fine. Just hack into Tobar's brain and reprogram him. No, that's interesting. Uh, I will question my decision to artificially induce kelpophobia in a robot. Thanks, Dr. F. All right, so. Oh, no, we got to find Tobar's remote controls. Just whips out a shovel. <laughs> He'd be a cute costume for Halloween, too. Alright, so Dr. F has given me permission to hack Tobar to remove his programmed fear of kelp. Alright, so I think we will do that next time, and we will also find Tobar's remote control. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and next time we will find we will hack Tobar and find his remote. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye!